Dear viewers, I give you the gift of impossible sight. I'm going to show you the very oxygen transport mechanism that's pumping around your blood as you watch this very video. About 50 years ago, the level of visualization you're about to receive would have been all but impossible, with the structure you're about to see known to only a small group of scientists on the cutting edge of research. So go to the website below and download the software VMD. You'll have to sign up to do this. Start VMD and go to Extensions Data PDB Database Query and type in the accession code 1HHO and then click on Load into New Molecule in VMD. Boom, there you go, the hemoglobin molecule in all of its glory. Well, actually, half of a hemoglobin tetrament to be exact. And just so you know what's on your computer screen at the moment, your computer just connected to the protein data bank and downloaded merely one protein structure of many thousands. Your computer has just given you access to the one of the most advanced and valuable databases of mankind. From the molecule that is currently on your screen, we worked out the very mechanism of how this protein transports oxygen. So cool, let's show you some of that magic that enables you to live. Let's find the, the heme group. Yeah, that's heme as in hemoglobin. So go to graphics representations. Delete the all and type in protein, then hit return. There you go. That's just the amino acids of the hemoglobin protein. Now let's find that magical heme group that gives it the excellent ability to carry oxygen. So click on create rep, that's create representation. Now type in resname hem. And yeah, that's case sensitive. And change the draw method to VDW, that's Van der Waals. There you go. That's your heme. And the green guy in the middle, that's the iron. That's where the oxygen binds. And that's what gives your blood its red color. Fantastic. So now you can see the heme easily. Let's change the protein representation and change the color method from name to chain. And change the protein representation from lines to new ribbon. Now we can see the protein structure is actually two molecules, each one with a heme group. Great. So now let's find the oxygen in all of this. So click on the HEM representation and add oxy to it, then hit return. There you go. That's the oxygen. Without this protein, your blood would only be able to carry about one hundredth of the oxygen that it does. As you watch this video, there are about a million, million red blood cells pumping around your body, each one containing about a third of a billion tetrameric hemoglobin molecules. Half of one of these is currently on your screen. Each of those hemoglobin molecules is about a billion times smaller than you. And just to put all that into perspective, the ratio of size of the hemoglobin molecule to you is about the same as the ratio of your height to the distance of the moon. 